Scaling out your JMeter test plan in the cloud on Redline is a great way to run affordable load tests. To get started with running a JMeter test plan on Redline, begin by logging into your account, hit Start Test, and then select the JMeter tab. We can now begin to set up our JMeter test. Simply upload your .jmx file, select the number of servers, select your JMeter version, and then upload any and all extra CSV data files, plugins, libraries, or any other files you might like to use. I've already created a basic JMeter test plan, testing a few pages on slack.com. For this example, we will simulate a 300 user test with a 4 second ramp up time. We will then select the version of JMeter we want to use and click Save Response Output and Calculate Percentiles. We are then able to dive deeper into our test by clicking on the Advanced Cloud Options. Here we can control and fine tune our test even more. We can select what type of servers we use, their location, subnet IDs, edit security groups, and much more. In this example, we are going to test our JMeter plan on two M3.Medium servers where we're going to have one in Virginia and then one in California with about 250 users per server. We can then expand the advanced JMeter test options to hone in on our test even more. Here we can specify JMeter option strings, incorporate various plugins, and even create our own JMeter report. For this example, we will leave these blank to keep things simple. But when we're ready to go, we'll just name our test and then hit start test to begin. Soon our servers will spin up and we can wait for our results. Once the test has been completed, we are then redirected to the results page. Here we will find a summary of our load test. We are presented with a breakdown of details. This contains all of our collected metrics like the average response time or our load agent metrics, our downloadable output files like our JMeter report, and this Jamie report can even then be opened up on any browser where you can access even more metrics. All of our metrics are then displayed on interactive graphs that we can control and even export as a CSV. In this example, our test ran for almost three and a half minutes and we simula simulated a total of 600 users hitting slack.com and then briefly exploring their site, clicking around. Of the 18,600 requests made, we found that on average 99% of them would have been completed in 7.86 seconds. As you can see, our test just cost us 18 cents. Since we paid for the servers by the hour, we could repeat this test over and over again and it would still be only a total of 18 cents. This makes Redline a great way to scale out your JMeter test plans on the cloud.